If you love creating custom home decor pieces for your home, there's a few things you might want to keep on hand so that you are prepared every time you wish to create something new. Today I'm sharing some of my favorite tools that I always have on hand in order to make that job easier. Hey there, my name is Yami. I am your Latina next door. Welcome back to Mi Casa, where I share high-end home decor and DIYs on a budget, as well as extreme before and after room transformations. If that's something you enjoy, please make sure to subscribe so that you too can become part of the familia. Now these tools are in no particular order, and most of these are very inexpensive. And over time, I have learned that they have made my job of creating beautiful pieces for my home so much easier. Before we get started, I wanna mention that I have opened the DIY Paint online shop on my website. You can now purchase all kinds of DIY paint directly from me on thelatinanextdoor.com. I'll put the link in the description box below so you guys can check out the inventory and start ordering. DIY paint is a clay-based paint that has a chalky finish. It's highly pigmented and can go on virtually any surface. Top it off with one of DIY paint sealers and you have a lasting piece for your home. If you have any questions on DIY paint, make sure to send them my way and I'll get them answered to you as quickly as possible. All right, let's get to the list of tools that I use on a regular basis. Now, one of my favorite tools are the Gartal Miter Shears. I shared this tool a couple of years back and then all of a sudden everybody started using it. This tool definitely helps cutting dowels and little small pieces of wood. This tool is really handy whether you wanna create something completely from scratch or if you wanna add on to a piece already or even cut something to make a repair on something that you already have. The blade is pretty sharp and you can change it to cut in different angles. It's a pretty handy tool to have and I know you will think so too. I'll make sure to have a link for this tool as well as all the other tools that I list in this video below in my description box. Next is the Ulfa Circle Cutter. The main purpose of this cutter is to create perfectly round circles. You can use this on a different mediums, and I've shared how I cut both felt and other items like bone board really easily to get that perfect circular shape every single time. Now, make sure you only use it to cut one type of medium. If you're gonna use fabric or felt, make sure you only cut fabric or felt with that, and then get another one for cardboard and paper, etc. Now, an inexpensive alternative to the Gartal miter shears is my mini miter saw kit. This little kit definitely helps with jowls. It also helps with small popsicle sticks and even narrow pieces of wood. It's perfect for smaller projects and it is more inexpensive. This might be an option for those who don't really need this tool very often, but sometimes will require small cuts here and there. The next tool that I love to use is my paper cutter. It's perfect for cutting down pieces of poster board that you need to fit into a frame. It's also perfect for cutting down your vinyl into the specific sizes that you need. You get a perfect edge every single time. And it's great because it comes with a built-in ruler so you know exactly what to cut every time. It's a perfect tool to have when you wanna create that perfectly straight edge. Next is my spray tent. You guys know that I love spray painting different items to give them makeovers. However, I don't like the overspray to get on anything in my surroundings. So if you're like me, and sometimes you use your front porch or your back porch, or maybe even an open garage to spray paint your items, this is good to have because it catches all that overspray and only maintains it in that one single area. It also prevents small little particles from flying onto your project right after you spray painted it. That is the worst thing ever. So one of these is actually great to have on hand if you do a lot of spray painting for smaller projects. I've had this tent for several years now. I probably need a new one, but let me tell you something, it lasts so long and it works so great. 
the next tool that I use on a regular basis is actually my Cricut Maker. I use it for so many things around my house. And I'm not just talking about signs for my walls. I'm talking about custom home decor. You might have seen my last video where I created some high-end dupes and I literally made custom curtains pillow cushions, and even artwork for my home using my Cricut. I don't like to use it like everybody else does. I really like to do new things and try to challenge myself to create with it to get the best return on my investment. The Cricut Maker is a higher priced item, so I like to make it work for me as much as possible and in as many innovative ways as I can so I can get the best bang for my buck. Another tool if you want to create bigger projects for your home is an actual miter saw kit. Now this is for people who don't have an electric miter saw or don't want to use any power tools. This small little kit will get you cutting bigger pieces of wood to create custom artwork, make frames for your home, and you can use it to fix little issues here and there in your home. I go to this often when I can't get to the miter saw or if it's raining outside and I just need to make a really quick cut, it's not really necessary to bust out the huge power tools and I'll just cut by hand with this. The next tool is my Fiskars Rotary Cutter. Now, I love to sew, you know I love to sew, and this is one of the tools that makes it so much easier. As a matter of fact, I've used it so much that I already had to replace the blade on it. And what I love about this is that it makes cutting out patterns so much easier on your fabric. Whether it's just cutting straight lines, it makes it super fast and efficient, or if you're cutting out lots of curves, like when I was creating those custom stockings for Christmas this past year, it glides perfectly smooth on the surface of the fabric and it cuts super easy and smooth. Another tool that you might not think about is a wood burning kit. Now this can be used for so many things. As a matter of fact, I haven't even used it for wood burning in my projects, but I have actually burned leather to create a faux stitched look. And I've also used my wood burning kit to cut plastic or create holes in different pieces to create custom decor for my home. For example, I used some old ornaments that I had on hand to create a custom garland and the wood burning kit helped me cut the holes that I needed in those ornaments to feed my string through. Another simple tool that I have on hand all the time, and I always wear it around my neck, is my fabric tape measure. Even if you don't sew, this is one to have around all the time because I am constantly needing a ruler. And to me, I just wear it around my neck whenever I'm creating stuff. And if I need to measure something really quick, I'll just pull it and measure between the pieces that I'm trying to get to look even. It's super inexpensive, and when you actually wear it, it doesn't get in your way. That's something that I always have on hand, and they come in lots of fun colors. Now the next tool that I use a lot is a cutting mat and the most popular one is the Omni Grid which is that really um, deep forest green one that you see around. A lot of people who so use that particular brand. I have one of those and I use those for fabric. I also have one from Cricut and I usually have that one in my videos because whenever I'm measuring little projects, I just like to have it right there ready for me whenever I need to measure something. Now I do like to keep my crafting and my sewing cutting mats separate, mostly because I get paint and glue on my crafting one and I want to keep my fabric one nice and clean. But these are great because they allow you to cut so many things on top of them without damaging your surface. Now, along with this, I also have the Omni Grid Ruler, which is a clear ruler that has a grid on it as well. And it's just a nice straight edge that allows you to cut any kind of medium underneath it and give you a nice edge and also give you really accurate measurements. Now, the last one is actually one that is pretty brand new to me. I haven't used it as often, but I am so excited that I have it. It's if you wanna go to the next step up and get yourself an electric mini miter saw. This thing is actually really cute. Make sure to keep it away from your kids, 
But if you cut even more dowels and even more smaller trim pieces to create your DIYs at home, this will make it that much easier because it's an electric little miter saw and you don't have to do any effort. Just bring it down like you would do a regular miter saw and you can cut your wood pieces. It's more expensive than the miter shears that I shared, but the effort is a lot less. So it just depends on how much you are going to be using it in your DIYs. Well, that's it. Those are the tools that I use on a regular basis to create home decor and DIYs for my home. Let me know in the comments below if you have any one of these or if there was one that I pointed out that you had no idea even existed. Also, let me know if there's a tool in your stash that I did not list here that you just simply cannot live without. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and stick around by subscribing so that you can get more videos like this. I will see you back here with another home decor and DIY video. In the meantime, I have more videos right here that you might enjoy. Until next time, adios.